So Hung, 25 years old. And now, bringing out his opponents for the ring. Won the, out of the blue Chinese Taipei Ring's National Champion, Intercollegiate Athletic Sosa Games Sosa this year. Moreno. Doesn't really have any international experience. Zaleta boxed in the Ladies and gentlemen, World Youths now we bring your attention to the ring in 2014, a three-time Colombian national champion. 1-0 as a pro, boxing WSB as well. And as I said, I like the look of him in his first fight. Wasn't in a rush. He was always looking to throw, always looking to get into a position to throw. Coming to the ring first. Fighting out of the red corner, the boxer representing the Republic of Uzbekistan. Please welcome Abdul Malik Kaloka. And now, please welcome in the blue corner of the ring, the boxer from the North Macedonia, Yasin Lama. So it's the first round here, Hung of Chinese Taipei in the red, Southpaw, Zaleta Columbia in the blue. Hung's trying to make an aggressive start here, busy start, just dips to the right, looks for the right hand to the body. And the one-two down the centre, Zaleta just taking the weight back, sinking into the ropes. Left of the body from Zaleta. Right hand just caught, hung on the way in there. Jab to the body from Zaleta again. First minute has been hungs due to that quick start. Maybe not all that much got through, but there was plenty of intent there and some did get through. Zaleta towards the back end of this opening minute, landing a couple. Combination there from Zaleta, mostly taken on the gloves, finished with the left hand to the body. I think that landed. down to the body there, Zaleta. Just falling short with the left hand there, Hung. <laughs> Couple of left hands in there from Zaleta. Beginning to find the target more towards the end of the round here. Left hand to the body. Left got through there, I think, from Hung. Leads off with a hook, but gets caught with a right to the body. <laughs> Trying to lead left up, uppercut there, Zaleta. <laughs> Head movement there from Zaleta was good. And uncoiled with the left hand, the right hand followed it. Final few seconds of round one, but a good round this, busy round. Bright start from Chi Ching Hung. Zaleta, as it's gone on, has come more into it. I wouldn't say he's dominated, although you could argue that's the right word for it in that middle minute and, and onwards. I think it's a round win there for the blue corner because although he was busy in that opening minute, Hung, he didn't get through with all that much clean work, enough to take that minute if if you like. I do know judges, not either judges that I've spoken to, but I do know 
judges in professional boxing who divide rounds into individual minutes and note down for themselves who's won the first minute, the second minute, the third minute, and if you win two out of three minutes, then you, you win the round. It's not for me, that system, but I do know people who do that. That first minute would have gone to Hung. The other two minutes, I thought, were won by Zaletta. He does have good accuracy. And he got it across the board with the judges. into the second <laughs> Hung again looking to try and start the round bright here and get onto the front foot there's a letter with a combination to the body right hand came back there from Hung but a, a couple of jabs just bounced off the forehead there of Hung there's plenty of desire and commitment from him but the the high skill level here really is from is from Zuleta he looks pretty composed on the back foot he doesn't look uncomfortable under pressure the body there from Zaleta, the right hand to the head just a second before that was taken on the gloves. The difficulty for Hung is that it's very, very hard for him to get set to throw because he's got quick hands, Zaleta, and he's just peppering Hung and getting through often enough that he's just never really able to get his balance throw the punches, looks for the left hand over the top there Hung. Left hand was decent from the fighter in red. final minute of round two and this has been similar to the first in that it's been good stuff to watch but once again it, it is the letter who is on top here he doesn't really load up with any of his punches he doesn't look to put huge amounts of power on them but I think he does have a little bit of a, a dig on him a touch of natural power and he's able to move those hands quick so he throws plenty and he wastes very very little Almost everything he throws hits something, whether it's forearms, gloves, or whether they get through clean. And as I said before, that just makes it extremely difficult for your opponent to get any sort of rhythm. He's put a ton of effort into this hung but unfortunately for him although he does have sporadic pockets of success and he's certainly competitive he hasn't done enough to win either of those first two rounds and confirmation of that there 20 points to 18 with four of the judges 20 to 17 with Italy who's gone for a 10-8 in that second round This is your third and final 
So third and final round is our MC Rishi Panica reminded everybody there in the blue. Duvan Zaletta of Colombia, who's heading for the next stage. Chi Jin Hung, who got to buy in the opening round. As I've been saying, is given this absolutely everything that he's got. And he's being outlanded by a volume of, I would say, probably about three to one here. He's good defensively, Zaletta, as well. Just gets those gloves up, pulls back, happy in the pocket, slipping and sliding, lead right hand. But for him, really, attack is the best form of defence. It's not gung-ho attack, but he's just always punching and keeping his opponent occupied. volume from Zaletta is very very impressive and there's just never any sign of him running out of gas didn't see that in the opening fight we're not seeing it now chopping down right hand the output is is formidable the punch stats will make very interesting reading for him the amount thrown would be would be very very high the, uh, the punch completion percentage would be impressive as well and he's pretty much done here Chia Chin Hung I think he would really quite like to hear the final bell he's barely landed a thing in this third and final round he's kept trying to throw but every time he opens up he gets hit by three four five punches Finished with a bit of a flourish here, Hung, in the corner over on the far side. Bell goes at the end of the round, and that's going to be three rounds to nil for Duvan Zuleta, who impresses once again. But Chia Chin Hung has got nothing to reproach himself for there. He could not have given us more energy or effort. But Zuleta is a difficult man to fight because... He is comfortable if you try and put him under pressure. He's comfortable in the pocket. He's always at the furthest away on the borderline of range. Defensively, he slips shots pretty well. But as I said, his best form of defense is attack. He is always punching, keeping you occupied. With your judges ruling in favor of your winner by points declared by unanimous decision. To the blue corner from Colombia is Duvan Zuleta Guerrero. So this Colombian team are having a good role in ring B. Impossible not to like what you see from them. and gentlemen, in the bout number 225 in the ring 